Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today we are going to be doing some watercolor calligraphy of holiday terms. Things that you would write on a holiday card. Happy Hanukkah, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, stuff like that. But I'm not going to be going through the basics of calligraphy. I have another video where I went through that before. So if you haven't seen that, go watch that first. I'm going to link it in the description below description in the description below. So make sure you go watch that first. If you don't know the basics of calligraphy, especially with a paintbrush, it is a little different. Watch that first and then come back and we are going to do some watercolor calligraphy for some holiday terms of things you can write on a card and we are going to be doing it. Well, I'm going to be doing it with some liquid watercolor that I got off Amazon. So I'm also going to be talking a little bit about this stuff, which is cool. And that's what we're doing today. This is my intro. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's jump right in. Okay, so before we start, I just want a disclaimer that I am not a calligraphy teacher. This is not my forte that I feel the most comfortable and confident in, but I do get asked all the time, can you teach us how you write? Because when I do write on cards, people seem to like that. Everything I have learned calligraphy wise is from the Happy Ever Crafter. So if you're really into learning how to do this properly, all the steps, go and check her out, The Happy Ever Crafter. She's on YouTube, she has amazing videos, and she also has an Instagram. She has workbooks, worksheets, it's it's awesome. That's where I personally learn, so if you really want in-depth tutorials, make sure to check her out. But because you guys keep asking me, that's, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I thought I'd test out my size two Emma Lefebvre Craftimo brush to see how it would work for calligraphy with a watercolor, or with a, bleh, bleh to check it out with oh my gosh this pregnancy has made me forget all of my words either way we're doing it with a brush today so now let's take a look at our materials and get started okay so for this tutorial today i am using my size 2 round brush from the emma lefave craft mo collection um if you just have a regular size 2 brush that works best and for paper i am actually using canson XL watercolor paper for calligraphy writing with a paintbrush or even a brush pen it is best to do it on really smooth paper so you don't want like a cold pressed toothy textured paper because if you're doing it with a brush pen or even a paintbrush it's going to be really hard to get those nice smooth lines so you're going to want a nice smooth paper so cheaper paper is actually best for this water paper towel and then like I said I'm going to be using this liquid watercolor today you can use your regular watercolor palette for sure, but I just wanted to demonstrate these because I got these off Amazon. These are like kids watercolor, liquid watercolors. They used to sell something similar to this at Michael's. Um, I think it was the Artist Loft brand and I used to use them for my kindergarten kids all the time. They're super vibrant, super bright, um, and they're really great for calligraphy because they just move so well. They're very liquidy. That's why I wanted to demonstrate them today and they are really quite affordable. So if you have kids or if you just wanna do like a bunch of lettering, it's great. Keep in mind that watercolors like this, especially because they are like geared towards kids, they're not gonna be light fast. So hanging something up on your wall, you know, they may fade over time. And also with liquid watercolors, they tend to be more of a stain than a watercolor. So there's no like dabbing your paper towel on your paper to lift up the color. It's a stain, it won't come up off your paper. Um, these ones are non-toxic and I don't think they'll stain your clothes. Oh, no, it says protect skin, clothing, and all work surfaces as this is a con as this concentrate color will stain. It's a stain. It is a stain. So I don't suggest, you know, painting on a white surface like me. It's fine. We'll make it work. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> well, let's just get into it. So I have a palette today. And I'm gonna do some Christmassy colors. And the great thing about these is that you don't need a lot. It's crazy how little you actually need in your palette. So I'm just gonna do like a couple drops like that. That was like literally two drops. Get some green, get some red, getting some holiday colors. Um, I have tried 
the Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus watercolor, which are um, also liquid watercolors. They're more professional, obviously, than these. I have to open this one. Um, but I still am not a fan of liquid watercolors for anything but lettering. So just keep that in mind. I wouldn't, you know, replace it from my regular watercolors, but they are fun to use and these are fairly cheap. Okay, we're going to start off with those three colors and we're going to get right into it. So I've made kind of a list of things that you would write on holiday cards and that is what we're going to do. If you are not so comfortable with calligraphy just yet, you can always use a pencil first. The only thing is that you will see the pencil underneath the watercolor. So you may just want to take a practice sheet and just practice this over and over and over again. So like I said, go watch that first video if you haven't about the basics because I'm just going to be writing these terms, kind of explaining what I'm doing as I'm going. But calligraphy is a lot more than that. Calligraphy is made up of, I feel like there's seven strokes um, that are put together to create letters of the alphabet. And the tutorial that I am suggesting you go watch shows you how to do that exactly. I think I also have another one. Um, you may want to practice with a brush pen first, which is easier. Paintbrushes are a little bit more difficult, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. So let's let's just do it. I'm going to just start. So I'm just going to zoom you in a bit more. All right. So I'm going to start by writing happy holidays. So you really don't need a lot. And the whole basics of calligraphy is on the upstroke. So when you're going upwards, you're using really, really light pressure to get these light strokes, really light, these thin strokes. And then on your way down, you're going to give it a little bit more pressure to get these thicker strokes. Okay. Like so. So I'm going to write happy holidays. Light up. Heavy down. Light up. Okay. See how that works? Heavy down. And it's really like when you're kind of turning a corner that it can get kind of tricky. Sometimes I have to go back over areas, which is totally fine. It's a little different with the paintbrush. Heavy down. And in the other video, I do kind of explain how much pressure you need to put going down. Because if you're to put as much pressure as you would with a brush pen, you're gonna get like a line like this. And you don't want like a really thick, jagged line. So you kinda of have to control that pressure. That was my list of things to write. <laughs> but one thing I do love about the liquid watercolor is how vibrant it is and how it moves. Like, see the difference? There's some really light areas, there's some darker areas. I think it just looks really cool. You can just, you can mix colors, happy, okay, and this takes a lot of practice. Um, I did not become decent at this overnight by any means, like there's still some shaky bits. Um, and I find if it's something that you don't practice, you can kind of lose it a bit. So definitely practice over and over and over again. I've been doing this for five years, so I'm a little better than I was at the beginning. If you scroll on my Instagram way, way back, you'll see my beginning stuff and it's awful. But that's okay because I was a beginner. And this isn't easy. But I definitely do suggest checking out the Happy Ever Crafter if you haven't already. She is incredible and teaches everything. Okay, going up. So just making sure you get those strokes right. Happy hall. Uh. Up. Down. And the paper really makes a big difference too. So make sure you're, you're using really smooth paper. Okay. 
And there is a lot more that goes into this. So keep that in mind. I'm not teaching all of calligraphy right now. I'm just kind of showing you how to write some of these. Happy holidays. Okay. It's something that you really need to work on and learn properly. Okay. So there's happy holidays. Let's write Merry Christmas. Okay. You can also make it your own style too. Like I, I tend to do more of like a bounce calligraphy where if you put, well actually not for this, but if you put, were to put it on a straight line, it goes above and below that line. So in that sense, it might be considered modern lettering or modern, I don't know, I don't know. Mary. Like, I don't think this is the proper R that I do, but that's okay. I do what I want. <laughs> Mary. Okay, so instead of you guys just sitting here watching me do this in real time, I just wanted to give you a couple more tips because I know I'm not really kind of going through how to do this step-by-step step, like these words because it's kind of hard to explain. You really have to watch the first video of the basics to get good at this and the drills that I show you in the basics video is really important to do over and over and over again because with calligraphy you really need to build up that muscle memory in your hand to get better at this. This took me forever to learn, not forever, but to come become comfortable enough was saying I'm decent at it. Okay, so the first thing you need to know is don't beat yourself up <laughs> if it doesn't work out the first time or the second time or the third time. With anything, it takes practice. And with this more so, it takes a lot of control, a lot of patience, and you just really need to slow down. So that is my recommendation is to do the drills over and over again. Practice writing, practice all the time if this is something you enjoy. If you would like some specific materials to start out with, because a paintbrush is a little difficult, I highly suggest the Tombow Fudenosuke, I will link that below as well, as a great beginner brush pen. There are others out there too, but I feel like that one is the best for beginners. It's a small little nib and it's very tough and <laughs> just, it's a hard nib, so it's a little bit easier to control. A paintbrush is very, very flexible, so it takes more control and a lot more patience. So with that, I'm going to leave you to just watch me do the rest of this holiday lettering. And I do want to mention that for my patrons of all tiers on my Patreon channel or page, <laughs> um, they will be getting a, a worksheet where you can trace the brush lettering so you can become better at it and you can print off your own. So that will be for all tiers. So if that is something interesting to you, something as little as $3 a month to get small perks like that um, may be worth it. So make sure to check that out.
And there you go. As you can see, it looks like I barely made a dent into these watercolors. So these things last for so long. The only downside is that you can't just like let it dry overnight and then reuse them. They get a little bit flaky. So you kind of need to use them in one sitting, which is why I only added two drops and probably that was even too much. But there you go. So that's how I write them. Um, I hope just watching was a little bit helpful. Make sure to do those practice drills that I taught you in the last video. Those strokes are super important to help you, you know, write like this. And over time, I'm sure you guys will be excellent at it. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Yeah.